You're in. Not that I know I want to be down here. Oh my god! Good day and welcome to Unsorted VHS, another game by Mike Klubnika. So this game is, I find a box of VHS tapes and I start going through them and I guess the story starts unfolding where they're all interconnected and hopefully I can get out alive. I don't know if I will, but I hope I do. Uh, so he has made other great games. I recently played Buckshot Roulette, which he made. I've played, excuse me, Control Room Alpha, The Other Side, and he, it's just a lot of great games that he's done, and I have not been disappointed by his work yet, so hopefully we can go into this game and also enjoy a great narrative of horror games. That being said, let's jump on in. You wake up hanging from a ceiling. A box of VHS tapes sits in front of you. Why am I hanging from the ceiling? Pick up a tape. It softly quivers in your hand, the label reminding you of a distant memory. Okay, okay, interesting. Suddenly you hear a strange voice. Play the tapes. Find out how you got here. Everything is interlinked, don't you remember? Eject tapes at any time with G. Okay. I don't know why I chose that voice. I could have done way better voice. I'm, I'm hanging from the ceiling? I'm in a chair. I look like I'm hanging from a ceiling. Uh, I guess we'll start with the first one. Uh, Mountain View Primary School. Ready? Into the first tape we go. Click something on right here. Open locker? It is an open locker. What do we got? Alice, do you want to go play at the cabins after school again? It's so fun. I just realized that you don't poof to the cabins that are already open. This will f change the game of Tag Forever. Don't poof. Okay. Um. I'm gonna bounce to the next tape. Maybe that has something to do with the cabin. Whoa. What in the hell is this? These are all connected? Is the cabin? Locked. Is there anywhere else I can go around? Um, oh, got a cellar. That has a padlock. Okay. Huh. Only two ways in. Okay. I would rather not walk into the void. I think there's probably going to be something connecting this. Something else, like I get a key somewhere else. Okay. Some okay. Let's check out the next tape. Play. Uh, oh, cabin anomaly investor briefing. What is the anomaly in the cabin? Is it the cabin that we were talking about earlier? The unauthorized production or distribution of materials illegal. The cabin anomaly investor briefing. Um, the nature of the anomaly, teleportation, instantaneous travel between two locations without crossing the intervening space. Okay. Oh. The hell? You gonna, are you gonna pop out over here on the left? Yes, you are. That's, that's not creepy or anything. The unmarked location, a branch of the cabin anomaly. One of these six cabins seems to be missing. It is unknown how to enter it as none of the cabins teleport to do it. Oh, so they've lost one. A previously traced symbol in the center of the cabin. The material is extraterrestrial. One part of the symbol seems to be pointing toward the unmarked location. Oh, okay. So that's where we were, I think. This concludes the investor briefing. Interesting. Sorry, I, I forgot I could eject that. Okay. Uh, security room. Oh, okay. Scepter Foundation. Oh, that is a broken disc. Oh my god. Hey, bud. Hey. Good? I cannot see me crouching. You have anything? Oh, uh, I know where that is. Okay, that's the uh, other 
place. The, uh, this one. Whatever it is, is literally right here behind where I spawn in. Okay, there's a key. That get me inside this house? I, I imagine it does. I don't think it would give me a key for no reason. Okay, so maybe the basement over here? The only other thing it could be is to unlock this basement around the corner. Alright, there we are. We're in. Not that I know I want to be down here. Oh my god! What the hell was that? Did I, get, did I spin around? Yeah, I spun around. Okay. I'm not going down that way. That is dark and ominous. Oh, flashlight. Hell yeah. Okay. Went down here. Like another light. Another computer. Right click to zoom. God. Alfred Raphael, Tuesday, 28 November, 1983. George Booker. George, I'm sending this to you from the looker in the hope that it does not find me here with the cabin anomaly on full lockdown. Hell, if I were you, I would put the pulse sonar down. The high level security access code is 4142. I know this is coming out of nowhere and I'm not the one authorized for this, but you have to trust me. I'll try to make my way to you. 4142. Okay. Um, don't know where that goes in yet. It might be the last tape that I didn't go to. What's at this end? Where that guy came from. That's weird. Okay. Um, let me bounce out and check out this final tape. Maybe that's where 4142 goes into play. The cabin anomaly. Oh, that's not good. Alright. 4142. Hell? Oh my god. Uh where does 4142 go? Ah. Gotcha. Aha. Was another disc. I am stupid. Uh Overriding lockdown. Good, good. Index, okay. Lockdown reverted. Where did the lockdown get reverted? <gasps> oh my god! That tape away now. Is this lockdown reverted? Or do I have to go back to the high school? It is this one, okay. Alright, let's go inside here and find out... Yeah, I can't open it. Locked. Bring your kid to work day. Oh, that's not good. I would never bring my kid to this place. Screw that. Up here. Locked. Oh, that is open now. I see you. Nice play. Who are you? Oh. Here. Nope. Observatory, probably. Whoever, whoever gave me that key, thank you. I appreciate it, and for you not murdering me flat out. Uh, nope. Oh. Yes. Fine cabinet. Unmarked location. Oh, there's math there. I don't do math. Most of the finances are simply not interested in the unmarked location, and if I'm being completely honest, it might not even exist. Our best option right now is to try moving one of the cabins. It could prove to be a revolutionary way of transport. I'll assemble a team for Tuesday. Alfred. Good call, Alfred. Good call. Oh, it's the site! Okay. Can I go out to the site? Wonder. Let's go, uh... I can. Our elevator is now open. Oh my god. Thank you for the speedy transport. I appreciate it very much. Audio. Please be aware of the following guidelines. 
when working with the cabin anomaly. Do not, under any circumstance, leave objects inside the cabins. This can cause fatal injuries upon teleportation. Close the cabin door upon exiting them. Maintain the interior of the cabins. A failure to do so may damage the integrity of the anomaly. Employees must conduct teleportation research one at a time. See guidelines one. Failure to follow these guidelines will result in contract termination. All right, cool. Find me? No. This is where cabin six. You don't have number first. Nice. Okay. So they move around. Oh, sorry, I got close. They move around. What order is it? Is one of these going to take me to cabin six on accident? Well, take me to that one. Weird. Try number three. Sure, there's like going to be some order to the right. No, did that take me to one also? All right, that's it. I'm gonna start leaving doors open. Oh wait, is that how we get to number six? Hold up. <gasps> yes, I knew it. I knew that was the trick. Okay. Where the hell am I? This is clearly cabin six. What is the purpose of coming here? Go off the... I want to go off the... Whoa, 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 whoa! The cabin disappeared. Yo. Uh... Oh, I, I maybe should not have messed with that cabin. Oh, this is, this is a trippy game. Okay. What? Whoa. Hello? Hello? <gasps> what? Oh, I'm back. Why why am I walking Why are the trees not attached to anything? God. Did I fuck something up? I'm like very slow right now. I think I, I got injured or I'm limping or I'm really old. Not going into the dark abyss. What the hell? That's supposed to be me? I don't want to hit G. I'm afraid to hit G. I want to see... It's actually just wait now. Oh. There we go. The contents of these tapes are very familiar. They remind you of a place similar to this one. But, how do you expect to return? Uh, I don't. You watch them over and over again. Friction between the VCR head and the tape wears out the plastic. They grow brittle and eventually break. All that's left are distant memories. Created by Mike Klubnicka. Thank you for playing. Jesus Christ! That was a trip! And a mind F. Oh my god. I was so confused half the time, but it was a really cool confusion. That was a really phenomenally done game. And I'm very, very happy to have played it. Again, Mike Klubnicka does a huge and a phenomenal job in his indie dev career. And you guys should really check him out on itch.io, on Steam, wherever you can get access to his games. He does make a lot of phenomenal stuff. I am very happy that I played this. This one is available on itch.io if you guys want to play it. Uh, with that being said, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, a comment, subscribe. It does help me in the channel grow. And I hope you all have a lovely day.